Okay, the first question uh, you ask, you have to set up the formula. You write n is equal to k times p1 times p2 because this is varies directly and also inversely with the distance so you have to find this constant uh, k so in this case we know n when n is 54,000 we know the value of P1 and P2 so we substitute here for P1 and P2 its corresponding value and then we know the distance is 350 so the only unknown here is K and then you have to solve for K So once you know what k is, then you can solve this formula for any variables which is unknown. n is equal to k times p1 times p2 over d, the distance. So we want to know what n is, the number of calls. Now we know what k is, so whatever k is, we just substitute here that would be the value of k and then now we want to know n when the distance is 465 and p1 is 70,000 p2, p2 is 150,000 and then just simply solve for n here then you solve or n. Okay, your second question is very similar to this. You start writing the formula, the IQ varies directly with two different factors, directly with M and inversely with, we just call it C. Now uh, then we have a k here again so you have to solve for k so we need to know some initial condition again we know when IQ is 120 M is given to us as 15 C is given to us as 25 and just simply solve for k solve for k. Once you solve for k, you know the value of the k, then again start with the equation iq is equal to, now we know what k is, and now we can solve this equation for any unknown. In this case, uh, we would like to know if the iq of a person is 120, so I know what k is now. The value of k goes right there, whatever that is. You have to calculate that. m is given to us as 25. Now you have to solve for c. Then just solve for c. So let me know if you have any questions. I will post this for you to view right now.